Hey, y'all, Sean in town here. Did you know that Uber is offering Uber Health now? Now, I've been uh, been aware of uh, this new direction that Uber has pretty much uh, pretty much uh, taken on or went into. And um, so Uber Health has been here for a little bit now, and I'm sure a lot of Uber drivers could uh, attest to that. Um, but, you know, I took my time and pretty much did a little bit more research on what's going on with Uber Health. And it seems like uh, they're going to pretty much trend a little little bit more forward and go down that direction a little bit more. Now, this is the NEMT business, um, non-emergency medical transportation business. And for uh, years now, a lot of independent contractors has been really making money. I'm, t I'm talking about people are literally, based on how many uh, vehicles you have, uh, you can literally make $300,000 each year and north of that. There are people in this industry that's making over a million dollars a year in the non-emergency medical transportation business, the NEMT business. Let's just say somebody with a with a with a good grind, you know, out there making moves and you know being consistent and growing and so forth. What's what's an average number you think uh, people could you know bank per year? Well, I think that varies. Um, it depends on your worth ethic, right? Um, we posted a video not too long ago um, where we showed you guys proof that we made a hundred thousand um, just working with one vehicle, assigning one vehicle to one broker. Oh. One vehicle with one broker probably doing how many how many legs a day? Maybe four? It, yes, it was very little, like four to six legs per day. And that wasn't even a full year. That mm -hmm. was probably anywhere from eight to nine months. We were able to achieve that number with, with one vehicle. Mm -hmm. Right. And we currently have three. So we met a gentleman um, that was out of Chicago and Monica, how much did he make? He is scaling over a mil, like over three millions, but he has like a fleet size of like 11 vehicles. Man. But oh. He is really crushing the game. Like he's making some really good money. Wow. Wow. I almost got up and walked out. The podcast is over. Y'all heard it first here first. Look, the money is here, y'all. The money is here. The money is here. And y'all are doing good. 300000 a year or more. And this is where people pretty much transport people to like medical centers and those different places and, you know, give them a ride because it, like it says, is non-emergency, right? So these are non-emergency transportations. And uh, so Uber has pretty much tapped into that market because of course they go where the money is. All right. So I'm going to share my screen with you in a second. So uh, let's uh, check out what I'm, I'm seeing on screen right now and we could get a little bit more into in information about this. So here I'm on my screen and it says right here, reimagine the way people access healthcare. Uber Health, right, delivers better patients uh, experiences with transportation, same day prescription and home delivery for groceries and over the counter items, enhancing uh, benefit uh, coordination. So um, down here, let's go down a little bit more. So here it says um, non-emergency medical transportation. Over here it says same day prescription prescription delivery and right here, grocery and over the counter item delivery. So um, Uber is pretty much tapping into every parts of the delivery business right now. And just, this is how these big uh, companies operate where they're, where the, where the money's flowing, they're going. Um, so I'm not sure if you got to sign up to be an Uber driver or you could just access it somewhere through this website. All right. So here are all the cities in the States, I guess I should say. So in Alabama, there's Birmingham, Alabama, Little Rock, Arkansas, Phoenix, Arizona, Fresno, Los, An Los Angeles, San Diego. Um, yeah. Arizona also has Tucson, um, San Francisco for California, Palm Springs, Sacramento, Colorado. Of course, there's Aura and Denver, Connecticut, New Haven, and Washington, D.C. In Florida, there's Fort Myers, Orlando, Miami, and Pensacola, Atlanta, Georgia, Honolulu, Hawaii, shout out to Hawaii, uh, Boise, Idaho, and Springfield, and Chicago, Illinois, uh, Indianapolis, Indiana, Wichita, Kansas, Lexing Lexington, Kentucky, New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, Cambridge, and Boston, Massachusetts, Baltimore, Maryland, Ann Arbor, and Detroit, Michigan, Minneapolis, Minnesota, St. Louis, Missouri, Charlotte, North Carolina, um, Newark, and 
Jersey City, New Jersey, Staten Island, Buffalo. So in New York, we got uh, Buffalo, Brooklyn, and Staten Island. In Ohio, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Columbus, um, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Portland, Oregon, Philadelphia, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In Tennessee, we have uh, Memphis and Nashville. In Texas, Austin, El Paso, Dallas, and Houston, Salt Lake City, Utah, Richmond, Virginia, and Washington, Seattle, and Tacoma, and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right, so let's go back to the top, and we're going to go over to uh, the prescription delivery. Like I said, Uber is delivering prescription now. I actually did some prescription deliveries on Rody. Uh, so um, if you've done prescription deliveries as a, an Uber driver or you've uh, done uh, some Uber he health, let us know because we want to know how that was, you know, what the payout was uh, concerning that. Uh, so here in uh, Uber prescription, prescription deliveries, 31% of uh, prescriptions are never picked up. Uber Health aims to change that. So here's what it says, how it works. Uh, once a prescription is ready to be picked up at the pharmacy, care coordinators can request a delivery on the patient's behalf through the Uber Health dashboard. Secondly, right, pharmacy pickup. A courier picks up. They're calling you a courier. You're a courier, right? A courier picks up the prescription from the pharmacy and the patient receives a tracking link by text. So they will be able to track you by text, right? On your on that delivery, on your way to deliver that prescription. Number four, the prescription deliver. The prescription is delivered to the patient who must be home to receive the delivery. So the patient um, has to be home for you to make that delivery. Now, um, confirmation, the care coordinator can track the status of the delivery. So those people at the... Um, at the pharmacies, they can track your status. So make sure you're not stopping uh, to get some burgers or whatever somewhere. You want to go straight uh, to the patient's home. Uh, the care coordinators can track the status of the delivery through the dashboard and receive confirmation of delivery. So if you're late, they will know and that can affect your rating. All right. So make sure uh, you deliver those prescription uh, drugs on time. And so look, you know, if if you want to get into this area, hey, uh, do some a little bit more research, a little more extensive research and get into this area of delivering prescription. And hey, if you want to get into the non-emergency transportation business with Uber, um, it's always a good thing when you can start your own business, right? Uh, so, but if you want to do go that direction, hey, feel free to check it out a little bit more, do a little bit more um, uh, research, research, or do your own due diligence and uh, figure out how that works. But right now, it's available. And as usual, if you want to make more money, if you want to earn and learn a little bit more on, uh, you know, delivering and so forth, check out the links down in the description below and also at the top of the comment section. So I'm signing out right now. Uh, shout out to all my subscribers. God bless. Peace.